Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blunder. I'm here with my boy Richard. Hello. Hey, I just realized this is our 60th bit of Blender. Happy 60th bit! Woo! <laughs> uh, so Richard and I have been at it for two and a half years. Just, wow. about, just about. We missed our 50th, so that's why we're talking about our 60th. We figured, well, 10 more, we'll have 60. I bet we missed our 40th and our 30th and our 20th. <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh, all right, so... Today we're going to take a step back to Blender 2.49b because what I want to show is more of a concept and uh, I was having problems with the current beta of Blender to do this thing. So I thought the safe thing to show the concept, we'll just use 249b, which works. So we'll pop open Blender and I'm going to create a UV sphere. I'm going to switch my draw type to textured. Under game I'm going to set GLSL for rendering. And then I'm going to right click over here and split the window. A little off center. <laughs> uh, that's what I want. And I'll hit zero to look through the camera. I'll zoom in a bit. And over here, I'm going to switch to our node editor. For the material, I'll add a new one. And I'll say, use nodes. And I'll add new. And what I'm going to do, do Shift A, and I'll get normal. Oh, you know what? That's not what I want. Uh, what I want, Shift A, I want mapping. I'm going to take the normal. Here, let's take this over here. We'll connect those nodes. And you'll see that this is showing the normal mapping. Well, what's a normal? It's like perpendicular to the face. That's right. So it could be a, a normal to a face, but there's also normal to vertices. Yeah. And if you want, ever want to view those in Blender, you can go into edit mode by hitting tab, and then go over here to our mesh and say, draw normals. Let's just zoom in, hitting plus on the number pad. And those are face normals. You can also do vertex normals right and they are indeed perpendicular to the surface in fact I popped open dictionary.com so under normal for mathematics being at right angles as in a line perpendicular man I hate ads like this <laughs> that just like go right over what I want to look at close so Perpendicular surface. And sure enough, if you were to look at uh, Blender.org, you'd see that normal maps are images that store normals directly in the RGB values of an image. All right. So whatever that whatever that means, right? <laughs> <laughs> so now, if I were to look around at this, no matter where I look, it's. it's go ahead, huh? Red and green, yellowish. Yeah, but it never changes. Yeah. Right? Look at it. Let me get rid of the light. No light. Zoom in. That is weird. Because the way it's showing it right now is it's showing based on normal to a, a surface where Y is over here and X is over here that's red and blue, Z. But as you could see by our widget, well, that's not where our X, Y, and Z is, right? Right. Well, it's because it's our X, Y, and Z is staying in one spot, but this texture must be moving because what it's doing is it's showing the, the normal uh, relative to our view, what we're looking through. So if we were to 
let's zoom out a little bit, select the camera, and see our widgets here, still not what you'd expect. If I switch to show the widget based on the object's normals, you'll see, here let me zoom around here and let's look through the camera, and then let's zoom out. And you'll see, look at, sure enough, look where the red, it's hitting there, right? Mm -hmm. Green, it's hitting there on the bottom. So it's based on the view. So when I'm looking through the camera, the green is our Y, the red is our X. See that? There's our, our Y, there's our X. So why are they the colors kind of related to the widget? Well, because the widget, right now, I told the, the widget to show uh, its, its normals based on uh, its angle, the object. So the object, uh, you know, it's at this, you know, a camera is really only at one point in space. Could you so, change the different colors to anything, or are they always red and yellow? They're always red, green, and blue, RGB. Uh, and then they blend together to produce CMYK. So take a look here. I'm going to show with with the nodes. We're going to bring this in here and connect this here. So we should see no different result. But what I did was I took the normal for the object that we're currently looking at, and I'm passing it into this thingy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, which will allow us to manipulate uh, that the the normal vector. So, what I can do is, for example, I can rotate that vector. And to try and understand what's going on, again, I'm going to zoom out and look through the camera here. I'll select the camera, and imagine now if we were looking at this this sphere. Let's try and move this view to the right. I wish I could move it right over that object. <laughs> so imagine if you were rotating this around this x-axis. Let's say, what would you see more of if you're coming, if you're turning around this x-axis here? Uh, greenish. All right. Let's take a look at that, and let's go ahead and rotate around the x-axis. So this is x, this is y, this is z. So sure enough, as I rotate around the x-axis, I'm seeing more of that green. So now... So is it rotating the material? Sort of. It's actually rotating the normals. So it's, it's rotating the normals, which is what is serving as a material for us. So now, imagine if you're rotating around the y-axis, what would you see more of? The red. All right, let's do that. Oh, I went the wrong direction. Let's go this way. Here I'm rotating around the the uh, the views, which my view right now is almost the same as the cameras. So that's why I'm using the camera, so I can click on it and show. Ignore the <laughs> ignore what the objects uh, normals are. So now, lastly, oops, here, let's uh, put zero in there. Now, lastly, let's see, the Z is like this way. So let's, let's just see, what, what do you think is going to happen? I have no idea. It looks like it's probably going to turn around. Well, if I wrote that like this, right. let's see. There, it's turning it around. Hmm. You're right. Go with your instincts. What did I win? <laughs> you won another day of using Blender in this house. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty cool. That's that's pretty cool to to understand a little bit about uh, being able to manipulate those normals. Now you can do some some fun things, like for example, since we have these normals here, if I wanted to uh, rotate this around here, let's try like. Rotate this here, so we just look at this black thing here. 
I see a little bit of blue. Yep, okay. you're seeing a little bit of colors around the edges. Here, let's go. Let's go here. Oh yeah, better. There you go. So that's along our Y. Or I'm sorry. Now this is our Y rotating around our Y. And uh, we can do other effects like shift A and and. Let's do let's do this. Let's uh, take this and use this just for value. I didn't know that you could do more than one in those little dot things. Yeah, you see. Huh? So yes. let's let's see if uh, rendering it will uh, show us anything. No, rendering actually is not doing it correctly. Let's see if I connected that right. I'll put the color, and then what I'll do is I'll pull the saturation all the way down. Let's try it that way. There we go. So now we've got just the uh, sort of light and dark here. And no matter what angle I look at this, it's always going to look that way. It's always going to have kind of like that glow. It's not the same as, there's another normal, uh, what are these things are called? <laughs> uh, Thingy. But the, 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 it's, it's, it's a different effect. It's, it's more evenly distributed the way it's doing it. So, let's see if I do that. So then, uh, let's zoom out here. Move this along. Shift A. What will we do? How about let's do RGB curves hmm. and drag this in, and then uh, let's push that up. Lighten the whites, darken the darks here. Push up the middle, so we're getting a little bit more of an edge. In fact, let me uh, do set smooth on this object. So that's kind of neat. So here. Uh, let me, I'm going to adjust these just right to 45 degrees here, and I'll do this a positive 45. If I wanted to, I could mess around with this, turn those, but let's uh, do Shift-D and duplicate this guy. And actually, I didn't really want to duplicate because now I have to do the work of changing that, <laughs> which took about two seconds. Let's go here. Let's push up the reds. So I got a nice red glowing, glowing thing. It's a meteor. And then uh, let's do this shift A, and we'll add another. Uh, let's mix. Let's say an add. I'll take that, which is nothing. We'll take this, and let's just try adding it to itself. So adding it once on top of the other. So that's pretty cool. So can you render that and will it look like that? Yeah, in fact I'm doing real time rendering right now, but yeah I could, uh, I'll show you. Ooh. <laughs> what is he making? <laughs> sort just, of a blob. <laughs> just showing that no matter what, the, look at that, that looks pretty wow. neat. Yeah. As we look around the surface. <laughs> yeah. The blob. And if I hit F12, let me bring this over to our window. There you go. Ta-da! That was pretty cool. So a little bit about normals and a little bit about, that was, uh, I didn't make that clear, using material nodes instead of just materials. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.